guys, and welcome to your two-minute money manager. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question comes to us from Alex. Alex says, Stacy, we're very concerned that our kids, 111 and the other 13, won't be able to afford college. But we're also concerned that we're not putting away enough money toward our retirement. We're both in our mid-40s. Obviously, we'd like to be able to do both, but is one of these things more important than the other? Okay, let's talk about that. According to a 2018 survey from T. Rowe Price, 74% of parents said saving for their kids' college is a higher priority than saving for their own retirement. It's not surprising. I mean, the cost of college, along with a massive amount of debt used to fund it, has been making headlines for years now. And of course, the knee-jerk reaction for many parents is, my kid's future comes first. You can't blame them for that. It's understandable. But guess what? It's wrong. It's bad logic. The reasons are simple. One, college lasts four years. Retirement can last more than 20. Two, there, two, two, there are lots of options for funding college. Low-cost loans, scholarships, grants, work-study, all kinds of stuff. There aren't that many options, though, for funding a retirement. Three, your employer may offer matching funds for retirement plan contributions. That's free money, folks. You've got to get it. Four, retirement plan contributions offer greater tax benefits than college savings uh, than, than when you contribute to a college savings plan. And five, running out of money while in college isn't great, but you know what? It's better than running out of money in retirement. And six, if you support your kids in college, they may end up having to support you in your old age. In short, the logic here is the same as when you fly commercial. You first put on your oxygen mask, then you help your kids. Obviously, this isn't a binary choice. It's possible and preferable, of course, to save for both things, college and retirement. But if the question is, which is the greater priority? Now you know the answer. Now, you might say, what about Social Security? You can argue that Social Security is going to provide a guaranteed retirement income when you, you know, obviously when you get older, well, there's nothing comparable to provide for college expenses. That's true. And, and many of us will be receiving Social Security, but it's not likely to be enough to fund a fulfilling retirement. Social Security was developed to keep seniors from a diet of dog food, not to provide a prosperous retirement. The average Social Security monthly benefit at full retirement age for 2019 is $1,464. Now, if you're sure you're going to be able to live comfortably on an expected benefit like that, or you have an additional pension coming, awesome, great. But depending on where and how you live, for many, Social Security alone is not going to cut it. And while your kids can work to partially meet their expenses in school, is that how you'd like to spend your 80s working to support yourself? So let's get, to the, let's get to the bottom line here. What's a parent to do? Well, if you find yourself in a quandary, here's my advice. One, start early. My parents started saving for my education when I was born. I started saving for my retirement the day I got my first job. It doesn't have to be a lot. This is what's important. Every little bit helps. Here's my mantra, guys. Small and soon, better than large and later. Okay, another idea, always get your match. If your employer matches your retirement plan contributions, always contribute enough to get the full match because there are few opportunities in life to collect free money, and this is one of them. Another idea, use a college savings plan. 529 savings plans are special accounts where money accumulates tax-free and can be withdrawn tax-free for educational expenses. You can learn more about these at moneytalksnews.com or lots of other places on the web. Once you get one of these, your friends and your family can contribute, as can your kids, as they work or earn an allowance. Then also, learn about financial aid. You're going to feel more comfortable if you understand the options for both attending and financing college. So don't wait till they're 17 to start looking into it. Start poking around now. Another idea, make a little extra money. There are lots of ways to earn a little more on the side. We've got an article at Money Talks News that, that's with 107 different ideas of making a little money on the side. Use that money to fund both those, the education and the retirement. 
Okay, Alex, I hope that answers your question. And that's all I've got for today. I'm Stacey Johnson. If you want more, just visit me anytime at moneytalksnews.com.